your money where your mouth is. I am your host, Civic. Follow us on Twitter at King of the Dot, Instagram at KOTD Van City. Shout out to Willie B and the Sparker for making this happen in Vancouver. We're in Washington State right now for the Evergreen event. Olympia, make some noise. I got a special co host with me. What up, what up? It's Patron, Form C's, Bond C's, Team Slick Talk. We're up in it tough in here. I just want to say all the profits from this event are being donated to Black Dog. It's a profit for veterans. Shout out to Jeff Anderson, the independent representative of Primary to Financial Services. And also, shout out to yourselves for coming out tonight. Y'all look beautiful. Make some noise, make some noise, make some noise! Hand it back to my man Civic. Go first. It is on vocab. Make some noise for this man, please. Yeah. Y'all yeah. came here to see the true rap story of Heritech. So let's take it back to when his parents met. I heard back in high school your dad was a player. Not with the ladies, but of an actual clarinet. And for some reason that made his mom very wet, and the rest was history. He's the only hair at a hair attack, and hair next to some grass on a cul-de-sac in the back of a hairy neck. It's a pair of necks, I gotta say something very polite. When you were a child, your mom did this, give some great parenting advice. She looked you in the eyes and said, Colin, in order for you to be the best, you need to, you need to put that pen down, take your ass outside and sweep the steps. I'm on my grizzly and this is how you feed a bed against someone who's jealous of how fast the hair grows on his Trump Chia pet? Please. Now I know for you this must be hard to say, but his last relationship ended like his hairline. They just parted ways. <laughs> now he goes on. Now he goes on dating sites, and when girls ask him how he got his physique, he's like, "Probably all the macaroni and sausage I eat." She goes, "What? Well, when's the last time you broke a sweat?" And he says, "Probably not in a week since I watched that AKA battle and he bodied three. So I guess I'll have to knock it out the ballpark. I said it. Your best offensive line, false start, pathetic." You're a rap battle posting all-star on Reddit who works part-time at the Walmart in Everett. You're more, out of play. You're, you're more out of place than seeing Peyton Manning standing next to an Asian family trying to compile a play. I found this music on the Pirate Bay under the search words pile of AIDS. That's something, that's something you should file away. Like bragging how you're on the bike for a quarter mile today. Style and grace, please. Your no time who's lost luster. Giving us updates like Tom Tucker, like this just in a terror tech. Your local office crop duster and mystery bathroom stall crotch toucher. <laughs> it's on, fucker. You ain't got the tougher bars. He spends all of his money at the poker table, because by now, he's always used to being on the undercard. You're a rapping diva, non fashionista, who gets mad and punches the table after pizza. <laughs> in hopes that he someday yearns to earn a bounty by marrying one of the real housewives of Thurston County. I heard, he used, I heard he uses an oven to keep his room warm, but also uses an excuse so he can start a career in food porn. He's perma-single, so for him the term a bun in the oven will never refer to a newborn. In true form, I'm done with this fake ass. Up after this battle, you feel worse than Dame Dash. After Aaliyah's plane crashed, Ooh, if you go off on a binge and your depression flares up because the only thing you and Hulk Hogan have in common is an embarrassing sex tape and matching haircuts, <laughs> so after the dope flop of any hit on No Shame, told her the hot and heavy heathen was the code name, <laughs> invited her, invite her back to his place to watch a movie Soul Play and his mission to try to get the crowd behind her like a home game. Now listen up, fit bit bitch tits. <laughs> you might not want to hear this, but your sister's good with the stick shift. Plus, word is she has the largest areolas and is taking more sacks to the face than Marcus Mariota. So, yo, why are you always rapping so aggravated? This is the guy the first time he ejaculated, called up his homies and asked them to congratulate him. <laughs> so, you think after four years of the same shit, he's gonna show up and magically just rap better? Please, this guy did a 40 yard dash as soon as he saw my track record. Wow. Now, round two, let's get down to business. How are you gonna try and get on the track and run with the beast when you already proved earlier this year you couldn't even outpower a Civic? And these are grown man bars. I ain't got no time to play. It's battle versus phonetic and don't flop in September's like the sunshine in Alaska in December cause that shit ain't ever gonna see the light of day. Aww. And guess what? Spit bar is legendary. Sorry about talking about your sister, but hey, I'll win by any means necessary. Let's go. <laughs> Make some noise for a vocab. Yeah. Yeah. Round one on Heretic, let's go. Let's go, boy. All right. Now I wasn't gonna talk about his age. Because when it comes to the treatment of our elders, I know how cruel this culture can be. But it's hard not to when in the first time in a long time, I'm actually battling someone older than me. But nah, I ain't gonna go that route. It's way too predictable. Besides, talking about vocab's age, well, that's just really getting old. Now, now 
If I use any rehashed bars, schemes, name flips, or metaphors, I apologize. But when you're going against a guy with 50 matches, it's pretty much all been said before. I mean, I tried to come up with some new angles, plot a fresh course, had me sleeping on this battle so hard, felt like I was getting bed sores. It was like being a jockey in a race, staring down at a fresh corpse, because a battle with vocab, that's just really beating a dead horse. So I won't insult his age or talk about how he been rapping since the olden days, how you can go to his verse tracker and watch battles till you're old and gray. I mean, that shit's like the ancient library of Alexandria. You can scroll for days, cause he been taking a beating forever. Like a strong drum, battle rap ain't the sport for you. It's clear to see you picked the wrong one. You a sprinter, running distance, trying to get this marathon done. Like you might've got somewhere quicker at first, but you ain't gonna make it in the long run. See, every time I give a performance, it's something the crowd loves to watch. But right when your stock's at an all time low, it takes another drop. Or uh, do you have writer's block or you just cool being in that gutter spot? Uh, I'm guessing it's the latter cause you refuse to step it up a notch. See. Every time I give food for thought, it's always something fresh and ripe. But your whole flow ain't ever had a second life. So on election night, it ain't hard to tell if he went left or right. I mean, obviously he voted Trump. He ain't ever been the progressive type. You a veteran making rookie mistakes. You a veteran making rookie mistakes. That's why you getting laughed at. No pun intended, but you giving us pioneers a bad rap. I mean, your name's vocab, as if you're some sort of lyricist. Yet 90% of your material is based on physical appearances. You never switch up your formula or take a risk or two. I got so many different plans of attack I can pick and choose. So like going to the Capitol Dome, with one of those GoPros on the stick that moves, I got angles in every direction. Yeah, that's that 360 view. But it's been forever since your name had a hot buzz. Stewie Newton should put you on the crew cause your old ass been washed up. Oh. And you talking about my sister, like you really think that what's up? Well, you know what? She's in the building, and so is my brother-in-law, so you might want to shut the fuck up. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Make some noise for heritage. Hey. Round two, it's on vocab. Hold it down. I didn't vote right. I'm a proud American. I told you before the battle, bitch, I voted libertarian. <laughs> I'll give you credit for owning a league, but you're 36 and I'm 31, so do your facts. You're actually older than me. So chapter two. When battle rap historians look back at you, they'll write the low average views, writes bars at tryout level magnitudes, sits inside writing during lonely afternoons, respond to the three YouTube comments on his battles, question the fan base that they had a clue. So you see why it's so easy for me to clown this dude. I mean, he might spit a nice round or two, possibly leave the crowd amused, but history shows he'll do it all for under a thousand views. So here's some quick advice on how to fix your life. Holiday theme. Tie a noose with some Christmas lights. Stick your neck in and grip it tight. For extra effect, use the flicker brights. Your obituary is something I'd actually wish you right, because there you could finally be the headliner. The best writer. I don't know what he's wearing, but I know most of it you can find at Fred Meyer. So listen. <laughs> for, you a hard, for you a hard day is sitting inside listening to Scarface, watching reruns of Shark Tank, making comments like, take the deal or we can do this the hard way. <laughs> Tart face. Wanna know why his face is grinning? He's got an obsession with four foot tall Asian women. His online dating screen name is Sir Acha. Put this quote below because I just want to put a little bit of flavor in it. So now he takes a knee before he battles, protests and states he's making a claim, but everyone just laughs at him because he's whiter than the players in the Patriots game. I heard you fund all your events with a loan shark. On the phone with them when you start up your browser, like, hold up, I gotta let that chrome spark. But due to your bad flow charts, you had to turn to your mom's accounting, which as a child led you to problem housing. In order to pay off her debt, you took more fists to the face than Ronda Rousey. While you did nothing, you were in the other room just saying, stop the shouting. Now this is battle rap, so I know that he could take a diss, but I heard right next to his online dating pics, his interests include finding time to shave his pits to his favorite hits from Taylor Swift. He wakes up every morning, looks in the mirror before he takes a piss, clenches, makes a fist, rolls up his sleeve, looks at his forearm, sees by him, sees tattoo, kisses, makes a wish, tweets it out to all his black friends like, damn, that's some gangster shit. <laughs> Your league loses more bucks than Jason Kidd. The battle rap community must not be hearing you. This guy bombs so bad on stage that most of his view count comes from Syria. 
Look in the mirror, bruh. When it comes to battles, people just don't watch yours because they're often tagged as Scott Storch if he lived in Rockport. Police brutality caught for us, but with lyrics, so I don't need to clutch the eagle. Now go back to spending time with your cousin Ethel hunting weasels and being told by women that we should just see other people. But for him tonight, some shit's about to pop off. Word is one of his friends gonna download and send him a pic of a chick with her top off so he could download it at home securely via his Dropbox. This guy's so bald he fell out of his chair, he saw the chair fly backwards, broke his kneecap, and as a joke, the doctor diagnosed him with a hairline fracture. <laughs> I hope you overdose the next time you and your friends share drugs. He's got no ladies in his life, so all his bars are just for men. Now that's a hair plug. <laughs> I still find it funny how you lost the Baradactyl, yet you were the one who walked out the venue looking like the hairless asshole. So I guess what I'm saying is Team Slick Talk, you can do better than the guy who was the editorial in chief for his high school hip hop newsletter. No. <laughs> Make some noise for a vocab. Round two, heretic, hold it down. Now you always make fun of your opponent's jobs. So quick to class and judge, making fun of a man for his uh, income. To me, that's whack as fuck. So I'm gonna tell you like I told Civic, cause no one wanna hear you rap for 15 minutes about the benefits of able-bodied, straight, middle-class, white privilege. See, I was taught to respect the janitor as much as the corporate manager as long as he put his family first. Like, what makes you so damn mature? You always steal from the culture, but never support the struggle. It's easy to judge another man's grind when you've never been forced to hustle. So I don't wanna... I want to hear about how you and your wife make a great pair. How you just got that promotion at work and your kid just started daycare. How it's Hawaii next month and this week the state fair. Like, oh, you doing good outside of battle reps? Great, then fucking stay there. See, hip hop is all I got. That just makes me the hungriest type. You live a comfortable life. House kid, wonderful wife. But when you got nothing to lose, you got something to prove. So that's how I punch when I fight. Got you looking like a house cat that came to scrap with the lions in the jungle tonight. Like I might be pasty, but bro, you are hella white. If shots <laughs> rain out, you'll be the first to run for cover because you've always been the sheltered type. You're the annoying as fuck, corny as hell. Rapper that won't go away. And your little homie just like you. Makes sense, protege's your protege. And I swear to God, you take a good Good bar and make it sound corny deliberately. It's like you just ain't got the whole package. A lot gets lost in delivery. And even when you do have a dope bar and spit it with passion, you go into your next one before you can get a reaction. You never let your line sink in. You just immediately begin to rap. That must affect you subconsciously because your performance game always looks like you're trying to swim a lap. You hardly complex and far from a threat. Like a pub crawl in Moscow, you're always rushing from one bar to the next. Plus, you never say it with your chest. It's like you just don't know what hard is. Makes sense though, because you actually got beat by Hush, so I guess you do know how it feels to be heartless. Now, when it comes to punchlines, every battle, you barely get a few in. Combined with your corny rhymes is why we rarely see you win. You that cheesy old uncle telling jokes no one laughs at for your own amusement, so you can rap till you're red in the face, but still won't ever give your style a new spin. Because every, every time you rap a verse, it's like you got a lack of words, because we waiting for that new vocab, but get the same old vernacular. And you want to talk about my plays and views, well, you here battling me tonight, so what the fuck does that say about you? Make some noise for Heretic, let's go! It's on vocab, hold it down. Now, what he said, a lot of it about my wife and kids, that's true, but it's funny how things change quick, because watching your battles is like changing my son's diapers. Different day, same shit. Because <laughs> I really don't feel that. Y'all shouldn't really feel that bad for this guy. I mean, when he goes to get his haircut, they give him half off, because all he has to do is ask for the sides. <laughs> the chances of winning are smaller than the hair under your hat that is thinning. That's just the beginning, because Colin's ego need this calling out, and this went worse than his last fight with his hairline, which apparently led to a falling out. So don't start at home and he spits one-liners so even his bars are lonely. Plus, word around Olympia is you got kicked off of Farmers Only for posting a shirtless pic with your Harvest Trophy. Start disclosing as a kid who's told he's never too big to fail until he grew out an audition for Chippendales. Stage name Zinfandale, or was it Richter scale? Doesn't matter, safe to say his audition failed, that ship has sailed. Now he sits home and reminisces every time he sips a Red's Wicked Ale. As a kid, he'd sit by the stereo wishing that his hair would grow. 
break into his dad's closet when his parents work and put on his leather jacket and dance to Eric's sermon. In middle school, he was never asked out because all the ladies told him he looked exactly like the lead singer from Smash Mouth. In high school, he skipped the prom so he could sit at home and play Nintendo because in his yearbook, he's voted most likely to live his life in the friend zone. So to sum it up, not even your mother can love that face and his breath smells like he put more feet in his mouth in the Trump campaign. He's got one of those faces your mom told you not to make as a kid or it'd end up getting permanently stuck that way. I mean, you've reached your peak. How much further down could you fall? This guy's so thirsty for attention that he went to the bar and tried to order an actual round of applause. <laughs> Young Nate. Young Nate one time looked at me, he said, Vocab, go ahead and spit that different shit. Then he looked at Heretech and said, some people don't choose abstinence, they're just forced into it. This guy's so much of a fanboy, I'm surprised he hasn't tracked down my address and tried to send me a letter. At the last three events, he asked Mike Phenomena to stand with him and take a picture together. So next time, instead of being starstruck, why don't you work on trying to get your bars up so the next time you can see us both, you'd have an actual conversation to start up. I bet you roll Swisher Sweets while you Swiffer Sweet. <laughs> and nearly burn down your garage by trying to heat it with your car's engine heat. And rap battle circles your past on more than Pistol Pete and they refer to you as RG3 because your progression's incomplete. When he told his parents about his plan for kids, they just laughed at him. He said, son, you know you're going to have to find someone to actually have them with. Maybe you're better off devoting your whole life to that rapping shit where all your bars are just throwaways like outer packaging. See, the difference is I get paid to do shows while people ain't even purchasing yours. I bet it's depressing for you to do a few battles and return home from Toronto and be fired for abandoning your job at the furniture store. So the bottom line is your rap suck, you're out of shape and you can't run and the only thing worse than having a cul-de-sac for a haircut is having a man bun and I hope you die while talking on your phone from an explosion on your Samsung. See, that's how I do it. Put in the hard work and stay later. Throw haymakers, no day labor. Why well, you should just stick to being on the sideline with your camera crew like the late great Craig Sager. And speaking of basketball, RIP. Speaking of basketball, we'll take this to the court. He'll leave with worse than tweaked ankles. He's a bad cameraman, so no surprise when he steps in the ring, he's already used to taking weak angles. So you can go ahead and rap that whack shit because all anyone's ever going to remember you for is being Battle Rap's version of Max from Catfish. And in this industry, there's no way you're going to last long when Patron spits you some of the hottest bars of the year and you said, uh, we filmed that again because I accidentally left the cap on. So hold up, there's something wrong here. Bartender, get him a blonde beer so he can ride off in the sunset on the back of one of his neighbors, John Deere. So let's go. Make some noise for vocab. Yeah. Yeah. Don Heretic, hold it down. Brainstorm. Grind time Northwest. The Red Bull battles. I know you know your history, but tonight you get left in the past with all that. Just know your history, cause this match is like listening to the arm move on a big clock or holding your ear up to a wristwatch, cause you can literally hear the last seconds of your career counting down when hear a tick tock. You ain't a veteran, you just that dude with a career that never ends. Tell me one thing you've done for the scenes and betterment. How come the vets like you never started a league like Forum C's or the ABL? You could have used your connects to work some behind the scenes magic cause we were dry for a crazy spell. Instead, you fled up to Canada. Probably cause to Americans you rap awkward. But your goofy style fits in up there so you hit out up north like a Vietnam draft dodger. While we were... While we were down here, like, fuck it, I guess we'll just do our own shit. Created an organic movement without KOTD on a homegrown tip. But that ain't shot fired. We appreciate the look. Just saying without us, a lot of these rappers would be looking homeless. But we never had to leave our state to prove we're ill because we already knew our homesick. But you jump back on the bandwagon as soon as we created a better scene. But you need to leave because you've been falling off for so long you don't belong on a card called Evergreen. You, someone no one wants around. Like when my girlfriend's mom's in town trying to hang out in the kicking spot so I had to boot you out my stomping ground. Like y'all vets barely left us a foundation to rebuild from. That's why you represent that counterfeit Washington and I represent the real one. Yeah. Now I've been on such a long winning streak. It's like the competition's non-existent. Got me feeling bad for the ops. Like I wouldn't want to be in my comps position because my pen game is deadly. Every time I write a composition, picking them off one by one like a sniper in a composition. Because when we first started this, I didn't realize how close to the bottom of the card we get, but I guess it makes sense. You gotta take a step down to go against the human garbage pit. 
but I still attack any and all adversaries avidly. Been busy beating back bastards, blurting blasphemy, casually causing casualties, calling trains catastrophes, damaging defenses, dirty deeds done dastardly, eliminating enemies from fabricating fallacies, kill the gladiator, grasping greatness gradually, heretic. Man, I ain't even gotta go from A to Z to prove I'm a great MC and the ink in my notepad's fresh. But if I wanted, I could make my diction vary till I go through every word in the dictionary and ain't no vocab left. Oh, yeah. Yeah.